right. Oh, welcome you to this is soon to be pilot and today's video is going to be on how to um, do dual monitors on Flight Simulator X. First what you're going to need is uh, two monitors. I got an Envision 22 inch there and a Samsung 19 inch. Okay, so if you just wanted to know if you wanted to do the horizontal span Meaning that the desktop would go all the way over. Um, what you would have to do is on Windows 7 and Vista, they did not make it to so that it would do it. Um, so only for XP. But just to do monitors that can drag over stuff, this is what you'll need. First, you're going to need a graphics card um, that can um, supply two different um, <clears throat> uh, two different outputs. Um, and you're going to need the two monitors, and if you only have one output, they sell these things from Matrox. There's a dual head to go, and there's a triple head to go. There's for Macs and PCs, and um, they run around 180 to 230. They do work very good, though, but I have two ports, luckily, so I got one thing here going from VGA, and I got that running to this, with the Samsung monitor, as you can see. And I have um, the HDMI right there that runs behind my desk there. And then if we walk over here, and you can kind of see that DVI there. And that's how I got the dual monitors from this. I and mean, then I got a laptop, so. And that graphics card is a NVIDIA 8200. So, so what you should do for, you should be able to go to your settings now. Go to your start button. Go ahead and go to the control panel. Go to appearance and personalization. Display. Change your display settings. Okay, now you should see both monitors. If you do not have both monitors, then you need to reconnect them. Make sure they're plugged in right. Number one, you're going to align these how they are in real life. See, my Samsung's a little bit higher. Uh, so I'll lift it up a little bit. What you're going to do is click on the one and make it your main monitor, one of them that you like. Then you're going to click on extend these displays. Extend these displays. And then click on the other monitor and hit extend these displays. Then what you're going to do is hit apply, which I didn't do anything, but I hit OK there. No, hit X out of this. Okay, now what we're going to do is a test thing right here. I'm going to minimize flat simulator right now. If you can do this with the mouse over like that, you're pretty much set. And then we'll do a internet uh, Google Chrome. See, that's my uh, channel. And we can go ahead and move that over there. If you can do that, um, you can basically do the thing on flight simulator. Alright, let's just go ahead and click out of that. Let's go down to Microsoft Flight Simulator X. We do a testing here. Let's do an A321 here. up for a second we just want to show what we got here equipment wise and we have the SciTech profile yoke uh, throttle quadrant and then we got the SciTech profile rudder pedals um, the rudder pedals are very good and everything the SciTech versions are very good I've been very pleased as this loaded it is all loaded um, here let's go ahead and do that zoom out a little bit Alright, um, as you can see there, that's basically the aircraft, okay. As basically everybody knows, you to get the, like, anything you want, go ahead and, go ahead and copy it. The, um, the shortcut uh, keys are for, like, the navigation would be a shift three. And once that GPS comes up, you're going to go ahead and you can, uh, you should be able to go like this. Put it on there. 
You can go ahead and make it smaller if you wanted. Uh, you could have put the radio stack there. You can do many things and align it. Oh, sorry about that. My computer went kind of weird for a second. You can move it over and all that. And uh, once you align how you are like them, you can save them by hitting your alt key. It might go crazy again. Downloaded a new software from App Store and got to fix it. You're going to hit flights and then you're going to hit save. You're going to type it in and your flight title and everything and then hit OK. And once it does that, every time you open up the same aircraft, no matter where you are, it will save it. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and escape there. And um, so just beware, um, next video uh, is going to be about um, how to uh, get more SPS and how I can load quicker. And um, just subscribe, comment if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to help you. Um, this is Cindy Pilot 55 signing out. Uh, thank you very much for watching.